All right, I don't want to get started on the 75 or the 50 grand masters right now. I only need 12 more. I'm just going to go back to doing some master clues and try and gain 25 uniques. Okay, I've been doing some master clues. I have no way of knowing how many uniques I'm at. I just know it's past 10. So let's see how many we can get from these four. That's two. One. Or that's two again, actually. Sarodoma God Sword Ornament Kit. That's pretty cool. That's nothing. That's not great. And that's only one. Damn. Okay, so maybe we're at like 15 out of 25 or so. Not great, but it's not bad. All right, we've got three more master caskets to open. Only one item from that, unfortunately. Two items from that. And last one, I don't even know what it gave me. I think a decent bit though, because I see a samurai thing, some fire lighters. Um, yeah, I don't know. We've done 11 master clues. I assume we're only a couple away from 25 now. It is CM time. We're only going to 100 CMs no matter what. That's the last KC task before 200. And we just don't want to be wasting time chasing drops because we can just get a bunch of dupes and never get the stuff we need. And nothing. <sighs> Another pair of dragon claws that does nothing for us. We want a twisted ancestral kit, full ancestral, or the elder mole. Damn! Ancestral robotum. Uh... So that's good and bad. I don't really get any points for that. I need the ancestral top to get 250 points. I've already worn an ancestral piece of the hat for 125 points. And I'm only doing six more raids, so the odds of me getting it are really low. If I just got a twist twisted ancestral kit in one of these raids, that would be another guaranteed 125 points. And nothing? Never lucky, man. We got, what, four more raids to pull this ancestral top? I'm not staying past 100 because we can literally just roll anything. And I don't just want to be stuck here chasing an item, getting no points for the next 100 KC. Okay, I'm just going to open them one at a time now. So another master clue. Oh, not a single unique from that. Jesus, maybe we should have stacked them up. All right, another casket, then I'm just going to eat some food and get back to Tempros. Uh, only one unique from that, so we're probably at like 20, I'd say. And that is 150 Tempros kills, 50 league points right there. Got 200 more in total to do, but there's a bunch of points that we're going to be getting from them. 68,165 now. And that is 200 Tempros kills now. I think that's all the hard tasks done. I think maybe at 250 it starts being an elite task. I'm not sure though. I'll have a look, see in a second. 68,215 points now though. 150 more Tempros kills to go. And that is 250 Temporos kills. That's actually the last hard task. At 275, I get 125 points for the elite one. So let's go. And that is 275 Temporos kills. We're getting into the elite task now, which is very, very nice. 68,390 points now. Um, I think 300 might be an elite task too. And that is 300 Temporos kills right there for another 125 points. Over 68.5k now. Another 50 kills is another 125 points. And we're going to be done with this place. 350 winner Todd, thank you so much to Hype for helping me out with this. You're an absolute king. 68,640 points, officially over. Don't have to do this shit anymore. We did like 10 hours today, probably like seven hours yesterday. I don't know, bro. But we've been here literally forever. And nothing, and nothing, and nothing. And we are done with once again, no purple. We are done with CMs now. We're done with raids in general. 125 league points, 68,765. And unfortunately, we don't get the Elder Mall, we don't get the Ancestral Top, and we don't get a Twisted Kit. 100 CMs done now, 68,765 points. We're done with CMs, we're not going to do any more. If we get a purple, it could just not be the drop, and we could just get dupes forever and just be chasing no points. And the next KC task is at 200 for 250 points. And I just don't think it's worth it with the time I've got left, unfortunately. And that is plant-based diet, which I think is doing Hispori without losing any prayer points. The only one Hispori CA left I have to do is 10 kills, which means I just need to plant it three more times. So that's all good. All right, we're back to the master caskets. 25 unique items just like that. Okay, I guess we were only one off or two off because we got the purple sweets and the robe bottom darkness. I was fairly sure we were pretty close, so I just want to get my recorder up. 68,890 now. Very, very nice. All right, I'm going to go AFK or attempt to AFK some KQ, see how it goes, because then I could eat some food and edit a video. And that is 150 farming contracts done. Started this a month late. We finished with 10 days to go. Am I the best to ever do it? Yes. And that is 500, uh, 500 court, 500 KQ kills done with KQ for now. I've basically just been doing it all in one inventory. I got a pretty nice setup for it. Got another jar to add to our collection. Super gassed about that. Some more D chains and D2Hs. Nothing too special. It's just a KAC task I wanted to get out of the way. We are now over 69. Yes, the sex number. 69k total points. I am about to say a lot of words, so if you guys aren't interested in hearing me talk, please don't click off the video, just let it keep going in the background. It helps out my watch time, helps out the YouTube algorithm, and lets my channel grow more and more. Also, my daily sub sellout. Guys, I have got like a million kids to feed at home. 
hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, all that good stuff. Help out the algorithm, help out the video. Enjoy me talking. All right, it's time to get started with Corp. A lot of you guys have been asking in the comments, wondering how many tasks I have left, how many I can do in time, where I think me and the other top five competitors being Woman Kisser, Tom, Wolfie, and Maz are gonna end up. So here we go. As it stands, some of the last tasks I have to complete are what we're doing right now, Corp Beast. There's a KC task at 100 for 125 points, 250 kills for 125 points, and 500 kills for 125 points. And you can get around 20 to 24 kills an hour with three Dragon Warhammer specs and one decent BGS spec. A Blessed Spirit Shield, which you need a Holy Elixir for, which is not boosted, is another 125 points. Getting a Spectral or an RK, not either, is 250 points. So if you get a Spectral and then you get an RK and you don't get more points, it's just 250 for either. Because I think they're the same drop rate. And if you get an Elijah Spirit Shield, that is 250 points as well. Woman Kisser got an Ellie within 69 kill count. I'm not sure if he got another one or how many kills he had to do because it's probably not worth the time if you get a shield that early. You probably stop at 100 kill count. So he got 250 points from the Ellie and 125 points from the Blessed Spirit Shield and 125 points from the 100 kill count for sure, which is 500 points. I don't know if he did more than that. Um, Tom, I know, got an Arcane and a Spectral within 200 kills, which is 500 points just off that. Another 125 points off the Blessed Spirit Shield and another 125 points off the KC. Uh, probably 250 points actually, because he probably went to 250 KC too, so he got a fuck ton of points off that. Wolfie and Mads both got one shield within their 500 KC. So at this stage, I know I've said this a bunch of times, but at this stage, as you can tell, it's RNG where the Corp gives you 500 points from 500 kills or 1,000 plus points from 500 kills. And at this stage, pretty much everything is a mixture of efficiency but RNG will play the bigger factor in everything and in who wins this league. Woman Kisser did 52 CM raids, half of what I did, but he managed to pull full Ancestral, which is a 250 point task, and a Twisted Ancestral kit piece, which is another 125 points, and that also saved him the time of doing another 50 raids, which he got to use on other stuff. Another big task I have to complete is 250 points from 50 Grand Master Combat tasks, which shouldn't take too much time and is something most of the other top five have already done. Another one that a lot of the top five have done that I haven't done is enhancing a Trident of the Seas, which I need 10 Kraken Tentacles for. It does take quite a bit of time, but it's probably one of the best points per hour thing at this point, and I haven't done it, and a lot of other people have, so it'll be good for me. I am also missing the Ancient Wyvern Shield from Fossil Island Wyverns. I've killed over 6,000 Fossil Island Wyverns for, and I will probably go back in the final days of the league to try and get that shield. It is 125 points. And with it, I can start camping Vorkath for the Dragon Fire Ward, which is extremely rare too. But that is another 125 points. But that also gives me 250 points on top of that for equipping all three Dragon Fire Shields. This is something I know that Tom and Maz have done. I'm not sure about the rest, but yeah, it's a large point thing to do. The last big time consuming task is Fizani's Nightmare. Now, there is some KC tasks for this, but they are kind of unrealistic. I already have one Inquisitor Armor piece, which is a 125 point task. Getting the full set is also quite unrealistic as you can roll any piece of the armor set so you can just get dupes. It's like Ancestral all over again. But if you do manage to pull the full set, it is a 250 point monster task, which of course a woman kisser has managed to do. Now a Nightmare Staff is 125 points and any orb in particular, doesn't matter which one, attached to that staff is another 250 points. So getting a staff and an orb is 375 points in total. After that, it's just a bunch of miscellaneous easy to hard tasks. The last big uh, point ones is like completing all easy, all medium, and all hard combat achievements. And then there's like RNG tasks like getting a Dragonstone armor piece from the Enhanced Crystal Chest, which is 125 points itself. I know Maz, Wolfie, and uh, Tom have this. I'm not sure about Woman Kisser. I didn't check if he got it done. Uh, lastly, I could do 20 Infernos, which is another 125 points that could take like um, 8 more hours, I guess, if I do a 45 minute Inferno, so that probably is worth it. And after I'm done with all that, I just have to make the decision on whether to go for a slower confirmed points, like 250 more Sire kills for 500 Sire kills for 125 points, 16 hours of Brimhaven Agility for 1000 Brimhaven tickets for 250 points. I could also do things like going from 200 to 600 Beginner Clues for another 125 points, as well as going to all the way to 400 mediums for 125 points and also trying to get the vestment set, which is 50 points. But realistically, at this stage, RNG is the deciding factor. I'm sorry to say it. it everyone here, everyone in the top five is a great player. Tom, Wolfie, Woman Kisser, Maz, I'm not trying to take anything away from them. I will say that I do think Maz would be ahead by like 2,000 points uh, just on the, just the way he plays and the efficiency he has if he had good RNG. 
but I don't know if you guys have been watching his videos. He has had the worst RNG this league. I'll link his channel in the description. So yeah, we've got like a week left to go. Made the best RNG win. Shout out to all the top competitors. It's been very fun playing the league with you guys. I don't have like anything against these guys. We're all on good talking terms. So it do be what it do be. I just thought I'd let you guys know on what the situation is. I think I'll be ending around 72,000 points, anywhere from 71.5 thousand to 73,000, I'd say. Pretty much the same for all of us. It really just like those little 100 point gaps, 200 point caps are just gonna be uh, RNG. Like I said, like for example, if I got the Justy legs from my 200 tops, which I really feel I should have got, that is another 250 points for a cup and a full Justy set, but it's just not worth me going back past 200 KC because there's no like KC task in sight. And I can roll anything, right? I can roll a, I can roll a Linguini staff, I can roll the helm, I can roll the body. Like, there's no guarantee that I roll the legs. Uh, obviously, the same goes for that Ancestral top. Like, I could keep doing more and more KC, trying to get a Twisted kit, or trying to get an Ancestral top. But I could just roll something else, and it's just not worth it, because there's no KC task in sight. And you always have to be thinking about the KC task you're going for. So, yeah, that's my little ramble. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for it, but I didn't really have a lot of content to put in today's video. I did 18 hours of Temporos in this video alone, but obviously that's only like a minute or two of content for you guys, and you guys have been asking for this. I hope that was easy to follow. I don't know if it was, but yeah. That's an elite combat task, caught on your feet. I have no idea what it is, but yeah. I just got 50 corp kills. I didn't even realize that. I just got 75 elite combat achievements done with it. I did not realize on 74. Corp Beast Veteran, 125 points, 69,190. What the damn hell? 64 KC, finally got our first drop, a normal Spirit Shield. I don't know if that's any points. Yeah, it's not, but I think a Blessed Spirit Shield is 125 points, and obviously I need it to make any other shield, so that's cool. Let's go, bro, that's huge. That's, that is huge. The Holy Elixir at 97 KC. I'm pretty sure all I need to make a Blessed Spirit Shield is a Holy Elixir and a Spirit Shield, right? Unless I'm mistaken. Uh, I think so. Should be 125 points, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, it is. Wear, equip, equip a Blessed Spirit Shield, 125 points. 69,315, and I'm about to hit 100 KC too. Very, very nice. And that is 100 Corp kills, 69,440 points. Super, super nice to get the Elixir right before this. We're gonna go all the way to 250 though, eventually. Or, right now, probably. Ending off on 69,440 points. Now, I do want to explain something to you guys. Insane Wolfie, and good luck up Tom. Do not trust their points. Ever since they've fallen behind a little bit, they've been stacking up their points in secret. They haven't equipped stuff. I know there's a couple of YouTube detectives out there in my comment section who have figured this out too. But basically, all the drops they're getting, they haven't been equipping. And as long as you don't equip them, you don't actually get the points for them. You can also stay like one combat achievement off a milestone and not get the points. So Wolfie and Tom are very much still in the running. Don't give a fuck about the Lush guy. Sorry if you're watching this. Wolfie and Tom are still very much in the running and very much close to me and Woman Kisser and Maz in terms of points. So don't let the high scores fool you. Um, a week left to go. You guys know the drill. I've got 733 kids to feed. They're dying. I've only been giving them KFC. It's been clogging up their arteries. If you guys want to help me out, like that button right now. Subscribe to the channel. Best way to support the channel. Get the video out there. And you get, obviously, you guys want to get my videos out there, right? Comment down below some words of wisdom. Give me some predictions on who you guys think is going to come first, second, third, fourth, and fifth on this league out of the five of us. And I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you.